Hello, this is the first demo of DB48X, which is a project to reproduce the 48, HP48 environment, RPL, or Reverse Polish Lisp, on a GM42 calculator. So, you have constraints. The calculator, for instance, doesn't have left and right keys. So I use the up and down keys instead, but you see that you have an editor for the command line, like on the HP48. And you can add numbers, exactly like you would on, a, on an HP48. I, I can do other operations, divide by three, multiply by three, Add 2, subtract 27, and do complex operations using multiple levels of the stack. So the basic operations work. We have support for some um, complex functions like logarithm. You can see that there is an R system that checks if the arguments are valid. You can do exponentiation. That's the value of E. You have uh, trigonometric functions as well. So if I do this times four, I get pi. And um, like the original HP48, there are multiple data types. So for instance, I can enter symbols. Um, you see that I typed shift plus alpha on the enter key to begin typing <coughs> characters. If I hit shift alpha again, the indicator over there shifts to lowercase and I can type lowercase. Um, I can uh, type text, so shift alpha, and let me type the usual characters, hello, let me put another string, There are basic string operations. For instance, I can add two strings and I can repeat a string. Uh, for instance, ABC times three. And if I do this times two. Now you may have noticed that when I do a command, like for instance, swap, the name appears in the top right here. If I hold the key, then an online help for that command shows up. And uh, there is a help index here that gives me the overview. And like the built-in DM42 help, this has hyperlinks. Um, so I can follow, for instance, the keyboard interaction one. And there is a history, so I can go back in history written where I was and follow for instance link up link up link down link down let me see the explanations about the differences with HP 48 and I can exit this help with exit there are other uh, data types um, but they are not really functional yet. So for instance, I can enter lists. So you may have noticed that because there are less keys than the HP48, uh, the numbers are converted to keys. So if I use shift, I can enter numbers that way. And that's 
an RPL list. I can enter So that's arrays, they are not functional yet. And the most important type of object that was just introduced is programs. So I can do one, two, plus, three times, put that on the stack. And now if I evaluate that, so RS is mapped to eval. If I evaluate that, I got my program result. So that's the current state of the, the system. Um, you may have noticed here some help, some information showing up. So you have the name of the project. This is the number of screen refreshes um, and that's the available memory um, for temporaries, knowing that there is a garbage collector. So right now you see uh, there is uh, a bit of memory left, but if I hit stow for now, it collects garbage and uh, you see that I reclaimed some memory, an indicator about uh, the battery, and there is, um, uh, because the, the HP48 uses alpha much more than the DM42, if you hit shift twice, you enter alphabetic mode. Uh, there is also, so a left key, but there is also, if you hold a right shift, so that way you can uh, enter, um, you, have, you have more operations that can fit on the keyboard. I'm not really using it yet. Um, execute is now converted to execute equation. So it's designed to enter um, uh, symbols and uh, equations in algebraic mode. That's I think that's about it. Uh, the design philosophy for the calculator and what I'm going uh, is on the GitHub project page. Uh, you will see the documentation that are explaining what I want to do and where I'm going with this. That's it for today. <laughs>